Hello. I wanted to hop on and show you how I make lava bead bracelets. And you can do it a couple ways. You can make it really, really easy or try to like be super creative and do your own thing. Whatever works for you. These are great presents for people that are already using essential oils or a great present for somebody maybe that's just kind of figuring out how to use oils, when to use oils, and all that. We started using the lava bead bracelets immediately for my son, for him to have them at school, so he'd have the oils on him at school, and he could smell the bracelet if he needed to, to feel that extra support while he was at school. So, um, this is what I kind of make up for people as gifts. Um, for me, I put my business card in there, but you know, obviously you don't have to. You can put it in a cute little box. But like, I'll do a bracelet and we have a couple lava beads and they're porous. So the oils kind of soak into them and then they're on your skin. And then I do a bottle of Stress Away. So just because Stress Away is the Probably the most commonly used oils on a lava bead bracelet, um, just because we need some stress away, right? Um, that's the, the biggest thing. So you can do it a couple ways. You can buy these little sets at Hobby Lobby or Michaels, and they kind of coordinate, and you can kind of make your own. Um, I have several of these different sets like this just because um, classes that I teach or if I make if I make a bunch of things up, I'll try to show you the inside of the box without it spilling. So see, you can do all different colors and they have tons of boxes. Hit them up when they go on sale or you have 40% um, off, you know, at Hobby Lobby or somewhere and you can get it fairly cheap. Now the lava beads, I have a couple different kinds. They come in just like a strand of beads. So there's one lava bead we got, pretty good size one. Um, let's see, I bought some from Amazon. So these are like a beigey white, off-white color. They're really cute for some of the bracelets. Uh, these are, I have a couple left, these are actually brown. I know that's hard to see, but these are brown. Um, I have some tiny ones, these are a little bit smaller. Um, and they're kind of flat. So it just depends on what you're going for, but there's a lot more around than what, even when I started doing oils, than what used to be. So um, I've bought a bluish color lava bead bracelet before also, that um, is good for boys or if you're going for that kind of color. So you can do it that way. You can do it that way and that's a great way to do your bracelets. You can also just buy a strand of beads they go on sale at um, Michael's and Hobby Lobby sometimes. You can get three for 12 or whatever the case may be for people um, that are a little bit um, less creative or you definitely want it to match and coordinate. This might be the best way to go for you. And it's less time consuming, I think, also. So that's a really, really, really easy way. All you do, and I'm going to make this one right now. All you do is clip the little string off. You could also, your, I mean, your kids could make these. And depending on you, <laughs> would depend on if you want to let them have their creativity and make it however they want to, or if you want to like lay them out for them in a row and they just string them, however you want to do it. So what I typically do is I'll undo that strand of beads and then I'll grab three lava beads. I just think three is a good number. There's no science behind that. That's just what I pick. You can do an entire bracelet of lava beads if you want to. I've seen those. I've seen bracelets that have one lava bead. It's whatever you want. It's your bracelet. You can do it however you like. I buy this kind of string. Um, it's stretchy and it's clear. Uh, this one is 
0.77 millimeters stretch magic is what it's called. Um, I just like having a little bit of stretch in the be in the bracelets because then you can take them off. Kids maybe aren't going to tear them up <laughs> if you're making it for a child. And so I leave it on this and I just start threading these beads. And I'll do a couple and then I'll um, throw a lava bead on there. Now, you do need to know your recipient of the bead bracelet. So if they have a smaller wrist, you maybe want to take out one or two of the beads that you're um, putting on here because it's gonna be too big because you're adding three lava beads to it, okay? So um, I hope that makes sense. My um, wrist is pretty small. Um, so I tend to have to take a couple of them out because it's gonna be too loose and I don't like it super loose. I mean, maybe some people do, some people really wear a lot of um, jewelry and they might like it hanging down on their arm or I mean on their hand. I don't really like that, but that's just me, okay? You do it however you want to. So I'm gonna take this one out. This is a big one, so I'm gonna take that one out. And this should work out perfect for me. And you can, like I said, do them as a gift. These are awesome gifts. People, I mean, especially handmade. Average is eight inches. Is it eight inches? I think, I don't know what mine is. It's not eight inches, I know that. I know they used to, used to like, be, if you do your um, thumb and middle finger around your wrist, if it touches, what is, it's like a small frame person or something like that, or if it laps over, I don't know. I'm adding another lava bead. This is like seriously easy, y'all. And I'm totally giving away like if I ever do another lava bead class, but y'all need to know how to do this. And I'm trying to find the, I'm trying to find the hole for this bead and I don't see it in here. I know it's in here though. Oh, here we go. Or you know what would be cool too to buy somebody if they are already like a crafty person maybe is to just get them um, a set and let them make their own bracelet. Like get them the whole little set of beads or you could do, um, you could do something like that. That would be really, really fun and really easy as a gift, you know. Or if you're a husband, Get it for your wife. Get us a couple strings of lava beads and then get her a couple sets of the beads and she can make her own bracelets. You can make earrings. You can make so many things. And it'll be really cute and it'll be their own. You know, nothing else in the world is like it. So that, I think, is a really awesome gift for people. Don't have to make it hard. Keep it simple, right? So I left off another little bead. I have another little bead that I left off on purpose. Okay, so I have my, my string of beads here. Do you see my lava beads? And because I was talking, I didn't really do this as balanced as I normally do <laughs> because I can't talk and work at the same time, obviously. But, um, you know, you can balance it out so that it looks really good on the... Um, on the bracelet where you put the lava beads. So I cut it, here, here we go. And we're gonna tighten a knot. This is super fancy, y'all. Make sure you watch. Tighten a knot, tie another knot. Okay, are you getting it? A knot. So I also buy this bead fix, it says. Super fast adhesive bead fix. Is that blurry on y'all's? It's blurry. I don't know why it's blurry. Anyway, bead fix. It's like glue. So, we're tying it really tight in the knot. And then I take this glue, like super glue, and I make sure I have some in there on it. It comes out clear. And then as it's drying a little bit, I'm holding it tight so that it's not going to come undone. And then you have a lava bead bracelet. Bam. It took me, how long did it take me? 
I don't know how long it's been. So a couple minutes to make a lava bee bracelet. You can do a little sample. Everybody gets these sample jars in their starter kits. So give, give out some stress away. Just go ahead, give out some stress away and you have a super, super easy gift that you made or your children made, which is even better if you're giving it to a grandma or an aunt or whoever, mommy. They love stuff that their kids made. And even if it looks like a hot mess, if the kids make it, the mom will wear it, okay? She just will, you know, we'll wear it. If, if, if it's ugly, it doesn't matter. We're still gonna wear it. So, that's what we have here. And I'm gonna sit and let it dry for a little bit and not touch it. And I just lay it down and let it dry. Then I'll clip the ends as close as I can to where I tied the knot. Um, you can use scissors, you can get some fingernail clippers and get in there and clip that. And it's super easy. Put it, get one of the little jewelry box um, boxes, set it in there. It'll be so cute. And if you want to go for the earrings, they sell those at um, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC More too, and it's really easy to, to make the earrings that match. And people do like that. Okay? I hope y'all have a great day.